Hello Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. So, one of the biggest problems I face with this printer is that the FCC cable will crimp and uh, what is caused from that is that the extruder gear will no longer go in full rotations, it'll just go back and forth and no longer extrude filament. So, what you want to do is unplug the printer, flip it on its side, and unscrew the bottom plate at, that holds the rest of the electrical components. So after you unscrew the bottom plate, just cast the, the plate off to the side. You won't need it for a while. And unplug the FCC cable or ribbon cable. It is connected to a blue board there at the bottom. Once you unplug that, you are going to want to unplug the FCC cable from the gantry and the gantry is what holds the extruder so we'll be calling that uh, we'll be calling it that for the rest of the video flip over your printer again uh, it is a bit dark in there so you are going to want to plug it in just to have the light on so that's what I'm doing right now grabbing the plug and after you plug it in and turn the light on you are going to grab your screwdriver and unscrew the screws on your gantry my gantry has been modified just a little bit uh, it does it no longer has the tensioning plate but it also does not have <clears throat> it has an expanded hole for the FCC cable because the original hole is meant only for the wire and not the actual plug so when you're removing your first FCC cable, your broken one, uh, don't feel bad about cutting it and uh, just cutting the whole plug off. But be aware that if you dremel the hole to be bigger so that you can feed your second cable through, your replacement cable, wear gloves so that the splintering pieces of metal don't get in your hand. I had that mistake and I had metal in my hands for two weeks. So unplug the cable, I route it on through. This is not the first time I've had to do this. Uh, the second time here is kind of my fault. I tensioned the wire too hard on the gantry and crimped it. Take off the tensioning plates for the side. You do not want to lose these, not the thing that I have, but these are important for keeping your ribbon cable out of the way of your print so once you get all of those off you are then free to remove the FCC cable so what I would suggest is not to remove it from the printing zone but to flip the printer over again and remove it from there I've tried to remove it here in the video just by yanking it up but it got caught which is why I suggest you flip it over. So, turn off your printer, unplug everything. Uh, make sure your gantry is uh, slid all the way to the right. I made a mistake and had it in the middle, which is why I'm letting it down pretty slow here. Also, your plate is going, your bed is going to lift off just a little. That's okay, just make sure that when you tip over your printer that you aren't just slamming it on the floor you don't want to mess anything up so just pull that on through and the reason why I had to cut the end of this was because I was uncomfortable with just yanking that wire as you can see there you can see there is a crimp there that little crimp is what completely messed up my entire printer just to show how uh, how delicate these wires are. So you want to route the wire through the filament loading zone, not the top nor the bottom. There are little holes there, but it took me a while to do it, and I sped it up there. But you want to have the black part facing up instead of the white, and you are going to want to stow that wire away so that when you put the plate back on, it isn't going to add tension to that wire. Again, you want little to no tension on that wire. And you are going to have to feed it in through the second hole that goes up. 
through the left filament loading zone. Um, <clears throat> once you have everything routed through, just pull the wire, flip the printer over again. You don't want to pull that wire too tight and turn the lights on again just to get sight in there and my GoPro turned off while I was tensioning the wires for the tensioning plates but that should be pretty simple for you to just do just don't tighten them super duper tight but just make sure they're pinned against the wall of the printer and there you go turn the light on re -put, putting my plate back into place or my bed back into place and just plug your FCC cable into your gantry, route it through the gantry door there. Again, you're going to have to Dremel the gantry door because it is completely impossible to funnel that new wire in there if you do not. Unless you're comfortable with chopping them and resoldering them, which I am not at all. So, plug it back in. I tried to put it in as delicately as possible, which is why I had to cut. But you'll know when your wires in there are nice and good when your ABL is glowing red. That means that there's power going through it and that everything else is working. And just slide the door back in there. Don't try to just slap it in through the top. Uh, you don't need all of your screws to put the gantry door back in there. You just need about four of them, three of them, but not two. <clears throat> so this right here, I'm trying to get everything away. And a tip for tensioning your gantry FCC cable wire is put your um, put the gantry at the far edges of the print area. And if it feels like it's being pulled really hard, is too much tension. You want just enough tension. And what I'm using here is tape. Uh, this is not the tape that I'm using now. I'm using an industrial duct tape that's rated for high temperatures. You want to have a high temperature tape to then keep the adhesive on the on the FCC cable, but. Keep in mind that you don't want to block the air ventilation, so that's where low tension comes in, because it will stop the it'll stop the wire from completely laying flat on the vents. And there's no more footage here, but you don't want the wire to block the vents because if they block the vents, then the blue boards inside there will overheat and that's what controls your extruder your abl and the filament runout sensor the i think the limit switches too uh, it controls a lot so thank you for watching and hopefully this video was helpful i've noticed there wasn't a lot of videos covering the f430 it is a really expensive printer but it is a very good printer. I I don't really have to maintenance it a lot, but when I do, uh, it is a, a bit of a pain, but it's not like a CR-10 where it has a problem every other day. But thank you for watching.